You have to begin somewhere. It's easy. At some point, with something. You can always cut the beginning later, once the story has become clear. Somewhere in the midst of life. My life. I drove out of Bakersfield, and now I'm in the middle of the California desert. I actually don't know where I should go. Sometimes I can't tell anymore where the stage set ends and life begins. Sorry, I'm just closing up the shop. I can get you some gas if you need it, though. Yeah, please. But do you have some water left? Sure. Thank you. No problem. Thanks so much. You want regular? You're leaving too? Yeah. You'll probably go to my sister's in Arizona. But first I'm gonna go by Las Vegas. It's now or never. Everything's still running there. Better than ever, they say. But is there a diner somewhere around here? Eh, yeah, sure. The Baghdad Cafe, five miles east on Route 66. They're still there and they should still be open. Now you tell Celine and Pearl that Matt said hello. How much? Oh, forget it. It's about closing time anyways. Thank you. Thanks, man. You're welcome. And good luck in Vegas. Thank you. Sometimes I recall something I seem to remember, and it lives and acts, exists. That's Aunt Martha. She helped me so much when I came to Los Angeles five years ago. I don't know what I would have done otherwise. She was buried yesterday. That was very, very sad. I was the only relative there, and Mr. Kane, the neighbor, was there too. For the last 35 years, he was in love with her. If it wasn't for these damn warnings, more would have come. Dad and the rest of the family, for sure. The original blast, the Big Bang, can now be given a fairly precise date, 15 billion years. The idea of a big crunch is on the other hand more controversial. At this time, due to recent calculations, what seems more likely is an endless, ever accelerating expansion of the universe, driven by a dark energy, the cosmic constant, the power of nothingness making headlines once more, just like the idea of multiple universes, among which ours is just a bubble in the boiling soup. I feel so free right now, probably for the first time, and now I don't know what to do.
Lots of people have set themselves up in the desert. There are lots of freaks there, waiting for God and UFOs and Judgment Day. Those who establish something beautiful in the world want to leave it for eternity. Where should I go? To my friends? Probably they're already gone. Who are my friends? My father for sure left a hundred messages on my mailbox. I've left a hundred messages on your voicemail, Anna. But cell phones almost never work in the desert, and right now you can forget it anywhere. Hmm. So you're all right? Yeah, I'm fine, Dad. It's okay. You remember Max the Turtle? <laughs> sure. From the playground in the park? Mm-hmm. I always wanted to have a turtle, but I never got one. Whenever we couldn't find you, that's where you were. Anna, please come home. We keep hearing such terrible, terrible things. I know, but I had to take care of Martha. And she was his sister after all. Yeah, and we were extremely grateful, but now please just come home. There aren't any more flights from LA. The airport is running only at half its capacity. It's total chaos. Yeah, and from another city? It might be possible from Phoenix or Las Vegas. Please try. Just don't go back to Los Angeles. How is mother? I'm a long answer, kiss me the two bay. Dick of the can't gur and wish you, my son, but Dilly gur into Shuya, your marbe. And can I poke out with you, Betty, sir? And can I lag a candetto? down the road? I'm already there. Wherever you go, I'm right beside you. Cowboys seem to like us. 
Yeah, I can see that. I find it strange that I keep meeting people dedicated to seeking the meaning of their existence without first trying to experience life with as much enjoyment as possible. To me, it is as if the person sitting next to me at the movies would ask me what he's doing there instead of giving the movie about to run the chance first. What was the best experience you've ever had with a man? Hmm, let me think. Well, this time my boyfriend came to my door and surprised me with a song just for me. That really touched me. Anna, would you like to hear one of my poems? Yeah, sure. Okay. <clears throat> Oscar night. Darkly gleaming limousines glide past a McDrive, nestled among the palm trees, like ridicule turned to steel. A skater swigs beer. He says, my mother once had a class with Travolta. He says it as though he believes she should have made it with him and missed her chance. He hates her for that. Wow, wow great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But now let's hear one of Pearl's poems. She sings them too. I want to be a superstar and join the rodeo and just relax in my cowboy slacks after I stole the show. I want to be in Tennessee, but the best that I can do is a cowboy hat in my one room flat in downtown Waterloo. Well, cowboys, Indians, and if you don't like the movie because you don't understand it, you still have the chance to make a better film yourself. The possibility of finding happiness in the revision of reality. Turkey and the Sioux, in my cowboy hat in my one room flat in downtown Waterloo. Wee-ha! Wow. Great. My teacher in the film school once told us about a Russian writer who said that when a gun appeared in the first half of one of his books, then it was sure to be fired in the second half. Somebody's going to fire this gun. Whiskey. I don't mean to be rude, but I have to go. still together with her? I don't really want to see at all. You've got some nerve. I wanted to see you. I'm thinking a lot of you. Man, I'm sorry. What kind of sick game is that? I loved you, asshole. Just get lost. Yeah. 
Everything that ever happened is still happening. Just because I do not understand what is happening around me does not mean that I'm not enjoying it. just so wonderful yeah I know <laughs> and though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge 
And though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains, and have not love, I am nothing. I am sure you're going to be just fine. So now I can go. <sighs> so beautiful here. Would you pull over just up there, please? Like I always say, you have to look more closely in order to find out how interesting and strange your life is. Go on a journey. There you can discover the most amazing things. Especially yourself. Just think. The planets, the stars, the animals and people. Thank their very existence to an undemocratic prank of nature. One single extra quark among a billion anti-quarks. proud of ourselves, regardless of how primitive we still are in many ways. We live at a fantastic vivid time, and we shouldn't be sad just because at some point we won't experience these fantastic things anymore. To know them at all is reward enough for the work we have to carry out. Everything that is, is material for what will come. I am not longing, nor afraid. Just certain that everything that was, is and will be. So, that's it. That's how far we got. Hmm, so, everything that is, is material for what will come? Yes, small things might seem inconsequential in themselves. And yet, all together, they are overwhelming.